What's up, what's going on legends? It's your boy Earl Shatter here and in today's video we're going to be discussing the big problem with overkill here in Modern Warfare. What makes it so different this year as it's been a part of Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4 basically every year. We're going to talk about which Call of Duties it was included in and what makes it so different this year. Why does it stand to be kind of overpowered and why people such as myself are looking to see overkill get a nerf in the future. Before we dive into the rest of the video, if you guys do enjoy this content at any time, make sure you guys show your support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Let's go ahead and throw that goal of 50 likes on today's video. Also, we are closing in on that 3,000 subscriber mark. We have less than 90 to go, so if you guys want to be a part of that journey, make sure you guys do smash that subscribe button alongside that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. So like I was saying before, the overkill perk is not new to Call of Duty. It actually started in Call of Duty 4 and then returned again in World at War. It was a perk in both of those games, and I believe when you put Overkill on, you could not have any attachments on your second primary weapon. Then in Modern Warfare 2, the Overkill perk was then replaced partially by the inclusion of machine pistols, shotguns, and launchers as secondary weapons, and also by the one-man army and bling perks. For those of you guys that didn't dive into Modern Warfare 2 or play it at all, bling allows an extra attachment on your primary weapon, the pro version allows an extra attachment to your secondary weapon. Then one man army allows class switching in game, but replaces your secondary weapon. Then the pro version was a faster class switching from five seconds to three seconds. In Black Ops 1, we absolutely did not have overkill whatsoever. In Modern Warfare 3 again, overkill returns. In secondary weapon replaced by a primary weapon and capable of accepting attachments. So you were unable to put any attachments on it without, of course, the pro version. With the pro version, the secondary primary weapon will accept one attachment and camouflage, or two attachments if the attachment's proficiency is available. One thing that you will notice through the titles that we've already covered is that for using overkill, there is some sort of sacrifice being made. And of course, you're not allowed to run a ton of attachments on that second weapon. Let's continue on with Black Ops 2. Overkill returns again, but it's actually not a perk, but a wild card. You carry a primary weapon in place of your secondary, but includes the ability for one attachment. The only way to get a second attachment on your secondary weapon is to also have secondary gunfighter, but once you take into account what you will have to sacrifice, it's definitely not worth it, or you're at least at a huge disadvantage. In Call of Duty Ghosts, we had Overkill Return again, and it of course grants you two primary weapons. In Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, we did have the Pick 13 system. Wild cards again return. Overkill allows you to take a primary weapon in your secondary weapon slot. And again, similar to Black Ops 2, you would also need to run secondary gunfighter to run one more attachment for this weapon, and that would directly impact what you could run on the rest of your class, of course. In Black Ops 3, we have those wild cards again. So Overkill allows you to take a primary weapon in your secondary weapon slot, which again includes the ability to run one attachment. So if you want that second attachment, you will also need that secondary gunfighter. In COD Infinite Warfare, the pick 10 return. Overkill was again not a perk, but it was a loadout option. Overkill allows you to take, of course, the primary weapon as your secondary weapon. And in order to get that second attachment, you need to have secondary expert equip an additional attachment for your secondary weapon. In Call of Duty World War II, we technically didn't have any perks, and we also didn't have wild cards, but we did have those basic trainings. And Overkill was one of them, allowing you to take two primary weapons and swap weapons faster. The second primary weapon, however, could not equip any attachments. So, the sacrifice of obviously running overkill was you could have those two weapons, but you couldn't put attachments on the second one, making it pretty bare bones and only intended to really take out a couple of people. Now, last year with Black Ops 4, we again had the pick 10 system. You could have a maximum of three wild cards, and overkill would of course replace your secondary with any primary not in use. Different for this game, it included secondary gunfighter 1 through 3, which means alongside overkill you could at least run secondary gunfighter 1 and 2, giving you up to 3 attachments if you truly wanted. But doing that would of course leave you with nothing on your primary. So of course that actually kind of cancels things out. Really not a main reason why you would do that, or a big reason why you would do that, it kinda doesn't make any sense. Now you're probably wondering why we would have went over all of the different Call of Duties, getting kind of repetitive with the whole overkill thing. And the reason is, just to understand how Overkill has worked in the past, throughout almost every Call of Duty that has been featured in, just so we can understand where we are before we talk about Modern Warfare, just the fact that you had to sacrifice something, 
you were at some sort of disadvantage in one in one way or another by running overkill and having those two primaries. Now let's go ahead and dive in and talk about Modern Warfare because the whole sacrifice and being at a disadvantage truly just doesn't exist. Essentially in Modern Warfare you have a pick 21 system. Overkill makes you sacrifice running anything else in the perk 1 slot since we are limited to one perk from each of those slots, 1, 2, and 3. This time around Overkill provides a large problem however. It replaces your secondary weapon with another primary, which is normal for Overkill to do. However, this time around, we have no limit to the attachments we can have, except the maximum, of course, of 5, which you can put on a weapon at one time. So basically what this means is, Overkill is allowing you to run two fully equipped weapons, making some extremely powerful class setting. This is insane when you think someone running something like an AX-50 could be so prepared for someone coming in with a close encounter by switching to a 725 with 5 attachments. It makes it a lot harder to strategize against a player like this, that you can't just expect the usual handgun or launcher as their secondary. This leaves players only one solution when it comes to countering overkill here in Modern Warfare, which is to never move, encouraging one of its biggest issues for most players, camping. Across the board, I think the best thing they can do to balance overkill in this game is to limit the number of attachments you can run on that secondary weapon. It wouldn't even have to be unreasonable, and could even include the ability to run two attachments instead of the default five. While this nerf wouldn't completely keep people from running overkill, it would for sure add more balance to the game and encourage less people that that perk is 100% necessary to run. Overkill in Modern Warfare is without a doubt overpowered, and I personally hope it receives a nerf. After talking about overkill in each of the Call of Duties before we led up to Modern Warfare here, I feel like it's easy to stand out why this is a problem, why overkill has such a big issue in Modern Warfare than it did in the past. Obviously I feel like in the past Call of Duties, they thought ahead, they were like, you know what, having two primary weapons with full attachments just seems absolutely unreasonable. So in some games, they didn't allow you to run any attachments at all. In other games, they made you sacrifice parts of your, your pick 10 or your pick 13 or whatever it was in that game in order to achieve an extra attachment or two. They made it a pain in the butt, they made it almost unreasonable to run in some aspects, but here in Modern Warfare, it remains one of the most overpowered things, and people run it on almost every single class. More people are running Overkill out there than probably any other perk in Modern Warfare, and I think with this small change, you could really bring a lot of balance to the game. Across the board, I hope that Overkill does receive a nerf, and there's probably some of you out there that didn't even know this was as big of an issue, or even why you probably heard other people talking about it. Now that's going to wrap things up for today's video. If you guys did enjoy this content any time, make sure you guys go down below and show your support for the channel by smashing that like button. Like I said earlier, we do have that goal of 50 likes on today's video. Also, if you guys are interested in finding your way back to the channel, make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button. We are less than 100 subscribers away from 3,000, so if you guys want to be a part of that journey, don't forget to hit that sub button like I said and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. I appreciate you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support on the channel, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace!